Welcome everyone to my channel. In today's tutorial, we have an international math only paired problem. We have to solve for the real value of m from this equation. Now, if you take a look at this question, this is a polynomial equation and it's of six degree. In other words, we have to get six values that will satisfy this our expression. But before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. So we take our solution, solution to our problem. So we take here n to the power of 6 minus n to the power of 3 equal to 2. This is a polynomial also. So in solving this algebra for the real solution, what we do? This one has the smallest exponent, which is to the power of 3. So we think of bringing out n to the power of 3 from this other side. So we apply the a law of indices, which says that if you have a to the power of m, then n, this is equal to a to the power of m bracket or e to n. In other words, we have to think of our two numbers we multiply together to give us this. Keeping in mind that 3 will be one of the numbers. Okay, so we discover that 3 times 2 will give us 6. And so we can rewrite this exponent as your n to the power of 3 times 2 on your bracket minus n to the power of 3 equal to 2. Apply this law, then we can put this inside. So this will give us n to the power of 3 or to the power of 2 minus n to the power of 3 equal to 2. So we say a let p, we can say a let p equal to n to the power of what? 3. So here we give us p to the power of 2 minus your p equal to your 2. Easy. Move these two to this side of the equation, the left-hand side. So we're going to have this p squared minus p minus 2 equal to 0. Good. If you look at this carefully, this is a quadratic equation. So factorizing this, we think of two numbers from the factors of 2 that when we multiply together, we give us minus 2 and add together, we give us minus 1. So the two numbers will give us minus 2 and plus 1. And so we can rewrite this expression as your p to the power of 2 minus 2p plus p minus 2 equal to 0. We put this in bracket, put this in bracket. Let's factor out terms that are common to both brackets, sorry, to each bracket. Here we have pp, so p can come out here, here we're left with p. Use p to divide this, we're left with 2, close bracket, plus what is common here is just 1, bracket, 1 into p will give us p, minus 1 into 2 will give us 2, everything equal to 0. Now take a look at this carefully. You discover that what we have in the bracket are the same. So since the terms in the bracket are the same, we take these, these that are outside and take one of the terms inside the bracket. So let's go ahead and do that. If we do that, they will give us um, this now implies your p minus 2, close bracket, bracket p plus 1, okay, 1 equal to 0. Easy. Now, there is a rule we call the zero product rule. We suck up to that rule. So, if we act on our belief or our application on that rule, we are going to send this to 0, equate this to 0. And so, these equations or the expression becomes p minus 2 equal to 0 or p plus 1 equal to 0. Quality of lightness where p is equal to positive 2 or p equal to negative 1. So we have two cases here now. So let's take this as our case 1 and this as our case 2. Again, if you recall, at the beginning, we don't have p. And so what we do here, we go to where we said let p equal to n to the power of 3. So we bring this expression here and put it into this. Where are the case one? We bring our term here, which is 
n to the power of 3 equal to p. So we have here to be n to the power of 3 equal to our p. And what is p for case 1? p is 2. So this is equal to 2. Okay. So we now have this to be n to the power of 3 equal to 2. Now we could as well just go ahead to take the cube root of both sides to eliminate this and get the cube root to this. But because of the fact that we are looking for six root, among all the roots, it is from there we're going to spot out or bring out the real root. And so we're going to use a different approach in simplify this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is easy. I will send these two to this side of the equation. Okay, so the n to the power of 3 minus 2 equal to 0. Simple. This has not really changed anything. And so we proceed on this side again. Look at this. Here we are having n to the power of 3. I want to also put 3 on top of these two. And putting the 3 on top of these two will not still affect the value. So how am I going to write that? This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to rewrite this expression as your n to the power of 3 minus 2 or to the power of 3 all over 3. This has not changed anything because 3 divided by 3 will give me 1 and one, uh, 2 to the power of 1 will give me 2. So everything here equal to 0. Remember the law of indices which says that your a to the power of mn equal to your a to the power of m or to the power of n. We can bring that here. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have this to be n to the power of 3 minus your 2 to the power of 1 all over 3 or to the power of 3 equal to 0. What I have here now is the same thing as this. It has not really changed anything. Okay, we look at this again. If you check this, we can derive or we can get a special algebraic identity from this place. Remember the algebraic identity which says that if you have your x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3, this is equal to bracket x minus y close bracket bracket your x squared plus xy plus y squared. Remember this? Okay, so if we succumb to this algebraic identity, we are having n to the power of 3 here. Here we have x to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 1 all over 3, all to the power of 3, which is representing this. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in this form. So if we do that, we're going to have this n to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 1 all over 3, all to the power of 3 is equal to your bracket open n minus 2 to the power of 1 all over 3, close bracket, bracket open, your n squared plus your n dot, your 2 to the power of 1 all over 3, then plus 2 to the power of 1 all over 3, or to the power of 2. Okay, let's put this in the square bracket, please. This is equal to zero. Easy. So what does that mean? It means our n minus 2 to the power of 1 all over 3, bracket, bracket. This will give us n squared there plus 2 to the power of 1 all over 3, n plus your 2 to the power of 2 all over 3. Close bracket, everything equal to zero. So applying the zero product rule, we equate this to zero, equate this to zero. To this, we have our case 1, which is n minus 2 to the power of 1 all over 3 equal to 0. So we have n is equal to 2 to the power of 1 all over 3. All right. So this is our first n. First value. Here's the first value of our n. So let's take this as our n1. Now I've substituted this value into our equation, which is our initial equation. And this satisfies our equation. This is the first real root to this international math Olympiad problem. Okay, now let's take case two. Now, if you look at case two, this is a quadratic equation. And this quadratic equation, we're going to have two imaginary roots from this. So, no need handling this. 
in other words so we have two root from here one root here already so we have three root from here now so let's take our case two where p equal to uh, minus one so we recall our expression again which says that um your n to the power of three is equal to p and which is equal to minus one so therefore we now have our n to the power of three they're equal to minus one send this to this side of the equation so we now have n to the power of three plus one equal to zero so this is what i'm going to do here now i'm going to raise this to power three because one to the power of three will still give us one so this will also be written as n to the power of three plus one to the power of three equal to zero remember our algebraic identity i gave the other time so if we succumb to that then this will now give us here n to the power of three plus one to the power of three is equal to your n plus one close bracket bracket n squared minus n dot one plus your one square close bracket so from here again let's proceed this now implies that our n plus one close bracket bracket here we have n squared then here we have minus n then here we have a plus one everything equal to zero so again we send this to zero we send this to zero so this will now give us here your n plus one equal to zero or your n squared minus n plus one or equal to zero easy here our n will give us treat minus one so this is another re or root so for this root have also put it into our international math olipaid problem and they gave me the correct answer so this is correct now let's look at this this is a quadratic equation then let's just check using the determinant factor so if we use the determinant factor that you will have the square root of b squared minus 4 ac and so this we give us here what is our um b is minus 1 so minus 1 r squared the minus 4 dot 1 dot 1 so this is equal to here we have here your 1 minus here we have 4 so this is going to give us here square root of minus 3 and this could also be written as square root of minus 1 times square root of uh, 3 and our square root of minus 1 is same thing as if you recall that minus 1 equals to our imaginary i so if we replace that here so we're going to have this to be i root 3 so this also shows that this expression will give us imaginary root and we don't need that here so to solve this systematically we're going to have two roots from here we've got one root from here so we have two three plus the other three gives us six we are to get six root from this international math only paired problem so this marks the end of this class. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. Now do well to turn on the bell notification button where you subscribe. Remember, this is All I Must TV and my name remains Jix Anemo. And yeah, I love you so much. All of us, my crew, I and my team, we love you so much because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. Bye for now.